So, I just got this game on Steam, it's called Shadows of Thought, and it's a procedural detective game. And apparently there just has been a murder case on Dupont Street, and I have to find a place and start solving a murder case. Oh, there's the murder. Is it some type of pentagram or something? Okay, the person was carrying a hammer. It's probably not relevant. Or maybe it's the murder weapon. I'll pin it as important info. So we have a bullet wound from a low caliber ammunition. 8 or 9 or 32. Okay, so probably not killed by the hammer. So the hammer is probably not relevant. It's a name Cassandra McAllister. Address, date of birth. Oh wait, it's illegal to take the key, okay. And she's the murder victim. We got a photo, we got a name. Fingerprints I'm going to take, age 49. Case. We got that information about her. Okay, shopkeeper, which means he probably owns a shop. Pocket pharmacy. Location Fournier Towers. Okay, I'll keep pin that. So There's basically data you keep track of in the game, and it automatically connects to related data, but you can make your own connections too if you want. Shopkeeper. Okay, who would kill a shopkeeper that is working on flowers? Victim has been shot to death with a pistol or revolver. Determine the time of death between 1815 and 1929, which just happened as I was just booting the game and the murder just happened. The murder report we got here. I'm gonna take the print. Okay, we got the data from her. Well, perhaps there is some... Um, okay, it happened about an hour ago. I'm not sure if the game runs real-time or something slower. I think it's it's, it's accelerated some way. That's about... Okay. Now let's see. Print scanner, which I'm going to use. With a print scanner, you can actually, like, look for prints. I left a print up there. See, there are no prints up there. Apple paper. Let's play. Perhaps it's just. No, I'll keep it as a piece of evidence. Which means you're not picking it up, you're just having the pin button. Okay. Oh, they're actually closing off the murder scene now. That, that <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Now, that pentagram looks interesting. The first thing I should do, I should go to the flower shop which he's working on, which I think was one of those towers. Maybe that homeless guy saw something. In anything. Oh. Which means the killer probably visited in here. And I also think that shaking is going to go away. When, when I'm inside, it's getting warmer. One, two, three, four. Mableman does. Okay, so you might actually not be the, the boss. 
Rob Kipa, Cassandra McAllister, Second, <clears throat> okay, we got Cassandra McAllister. She works as a shopkeeper in this place. But why is she not on the employee thing? Where's Cassandra? Hmm. Oh, there, there she is. Yep, that's her. She works in that place. Three, four. Good watch. Reflex. Hmm. The font looks kind of weird. Maybe it's connected to the pentagram on the ground. Maybe it's some occult thing going on. Okay, so I'm going to pin that one through. Screwdriver. She was killed with a pistol. What's that? Hairpin. Hmm. So the murderer probably didn't come in here. He probably shot her outside. One, two, three. I'm technically trespassing, and there's a Jonathan here. <clears> hmm, <throat> what's your name? Okay, he doesn't want to cooperate. Health inspector. For guest pass, you could probably bribe him so he lets me in. Okay, yeah. give me that guest pass. I have two in game hours and can conversation. Okay, let's see what I can find. Okay, okay. Hmm. Details, okay. Sandra McAllister, okay. Works from 8 to 6.30, which means she, she works in the evening. She was technically killed during work hours, which means the killer was probably in the room with her and chased her outside and killed her there. Also, there were reports of flirting. Yeah, I'll pin that too. Let's see. Always come thing about spots. Okay, the killer is probably in the room with her, I think. She got beef with, with some other player. Abel. <clears throat> She's walking to 1830. Wait, but was it? Time of death was probably 1815, which means she was still there. She's possibly, she might have killed her. Won't pin it yet. Also works in the evening, could... Uh, hmm. Draw temper. Would have been any of those guys. Sales ledger, okay. Died <clears throat> Monday for... It, um, not its American date format. Is it day, month, year, I think, is it? Which means it's February the 1st. Okay, let's see if somebody was here buying something. Last custom was here at 14, so it's probably not the killer among them. A 
Got something in the trash? Find anything in the trash? <clears throat> Like each draw is like its own thing. It's like you really rummage through it. I won't steal it because I'm I'm not I'm not going to be a dirty cop here. Hmm. Okay, so Mabel owns the place. Now nah, she wouldn't kill a, kill somebody in her own shop. If the passcode for that thing is the same as over here, but I have to wait for this person to go outside. Let's see what the computer says. Oh, yeah, surveillance. Okay, Monday. Maybe they didn't have any camera recording or something. Oh, man. What if maybe the killer wasn't the tape? Or maybe it was because the camera is off. No, it's actually not off. I didn't, I didn't mess with the cameras at all. They got no surveillance tape on that place. Hmm. It's really cool because in the Tron mission, you can use the camera um, footage to track uh, persons the, the victim has. And here it's just a dead end lead. I actually like that. There's some other information in there. Sales records. That's a thing I, I checked earlier. It's probably not it. Hmm. Sorry. <clears throat> Happened today. Okay, Mabel probably cheated on Tom. But she's not a murder victim, so. Probably nothing in there. Bam, mail. They should find out where she lives or what she was doing. And this game's quite interesting like this. Well, I watch a lot of cop shows, so... <laughs> like getting lost in all the possible leads, that's actually really fun. Might be a dead end over here, there's probably nothing in there. Oh, you check the camera for what's illegal. Yeah, there's probably nothing in Oh wait, I still have to get the amplary records so I know where she lives. Database. What's her name again? Cassandra. Shopkeeper, employer, salary. Do I actually need her? Question it's uh time is it? Okay. 
find the phone, I can actually check for uh, the address book. Then I can, they can then I know where Mush actually lives. First we check if somebody's here. Probably nobody here. Is there any cameras in the area? Hey you. Hey. I didn't actually have to use the lockpick, did I accidentally take a key or something? Oh wait, I took it from, from the wallet, oh that's why it's opening. Okay, so technically I'm trespassing, but nobody's seeing me in here. But she's probably dead, so she doesn't mind me checking her stuff out. Okay, here we go. Yeah, video tapes. So the killer probably okay didn't kill her in here obviously so security system in here. Sneak under it, I can actually hack it, I think. Picks. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh huh. City Hall, ground floor lobby, supervisor. Why is her business card on the bed? Maybe there are secret lovers. Huh. I can probably make my own thing here. You sticky note. So I can write my own things. The name. Huh. Hmm. Okay, so we got Cassandra killed at that time, and there's one other person she's connected to. Also, could be anybody of the. Of the workers in the pharmacy. Maybe that. Maybe there's some weird occult thing with the leaf on it. Hmm. What's that hammer for? She was killed with a gun, so the hammer's probably nothing. I'm just gonna remove that. Oh wait, maybe they're actually not secret love, maybe they just live together because they have the same address. Or shooter. Maybe it's a sister or some type of relative person. Yeah, they both live in the same place. So. I help him because... Let's the ring. Probably engaged or married. And finish off that thing. Yeah, 
Maybe I can lift the print of Sean right here. Turn off the lights. It's easy to find prints like that. Huh, I got a print. It's probably Shauna's print. Has to be. If it's a business card, she probably touched it. From that business card, okay. Prints all over the place. Okay, so maybe Shauna isn't actually the killer, it's just the person living with her. Oh, there's a minigun protecting the place, okay. Hmm. I get them to the... probably need a passcode to, want to do something with that. Also wait, if Shauna is coming back... And I'm in here, okay, that, that's not good. Birth control pills, we just hit. This here, they're just birthdays. Okay, that's nothing interesting. Right. Does it require a login? Yep, of course, they live together. Oh. Inspector. E. Shauna Schuler, okay. And we can check the wallet. Yep, okay, they're probably, she's probably not a suspect, she's just her. Bill would have to get into her computer, maybe she has something at her workplace. She works in City Hall, so that's where she'll go next. Got the cops come in. That's City Hall. Yep, she's actually walking in City Hall, Grand Paul Lobby. I'll probably stop the video here because it's going to take too long. I hope this was engaging to watch. And see you next time.